So today is Cinco de Mayo, but not only is it Cinco de Mayo, it's also Taco Tuesday. And unfortunately, a lot of the places that we like to go for tacos, we can't go to. But why do that? You know, we're at home, we have the stuff for tacos. Trust me, you have the stuff for tacos. So today we're making five different tacos. We're doing a chicken taco, beef taco, Taco Bell type taco. We're doing a carnitas taco and a potato taco for our vegetarians, because you know, Vegetarians need tacos too. If you add eggs to the potato tacos, you turn into a breakfast taco. It's not gonna be too long of a video because honestly making tacos is pretty quick, so uh, let's just get into it. All right, first things first, we can start off with our chicken tacos. And yes, your boy finally found some gloves. Oh my gosh. Start by slicing up some chicken. Now you want to make sure you slice against the grain. That way, once it's cooked, you can just bite into it. It's tender. It's just, it, it's good. You don't want to cut with the grain. Cut against the grain, all right? Slice up half a poblano pepper. Follow that up with a teaspoon of smoked paprika, coriander, a tablespoon of honey, and the juice and zest of one lime. Give that some uh, shake and bake and then set that in your fridge for at least one to two hours. But I mean, you don't have to do this overnight. This is like a one day recipe, so. All right, now we're gonna do the taco seasoning. Now taco seasoning is one of those things I've learned to not like it. One, because it has chili powder in it and I don't like chili powder. It tastes like spicy dirt. I'm sorry, I, I can't do it. So we're gonna be making our own taco seasoning and most stuff that you use for this, you're, you probably already have in your house anyway, so yeah, don't, don't worry about it. All right, so for our taco seasoning, we're gonna do a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of coriander, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, a fourth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of ground black pepper, brown sugar, half a teaspoon of ground thyme, and then give that a good mix, and that's that's it. That's all you need. No chili powder. If you have and like it, you would add a tablespoon. That's, yeah. All right, and now that we got our taco seasoning nice and ready, time to prep our potatoes. I just have a potato that's kind of just sitting around. It's gonna be for our vegan taco, which also doubles as a breakfast taco if you add eggs to the top. So yeah, this one, this one's gonna be a thing. Honestly, the easiest prep ever. After you've washed your potato, you're gonna take the coarse grater on like a cheese grater and you're just gonna grate the whole thing. That's, that's legit it. Cannot stress this enough, guys. Please wash your produce. Wash everything. Cannot stress this enough. Holy crap. Rating Callan aside, you're gonna add enough water to cover the potatoes and a tablespoon of sugar and you're just gonna let that sit in the fridge for like 10 minutes. That's that's all it needs. Now for some pico. All right, so we're gonna do a small dice on a habanero and a medium dice on a poblano pepper. Now, if you don't like spicy, just leave out the habanero. It's pretty much all you do. Make sure you take the seeds out of both the habanero and the poblano, all right? Now, for the tomato, we don't want the middle of the tomato. We just want that outside, like flowery, petally part. So you're gonna do a nice cut around the sides of the tomato. Make sure you have a sharp knife for this. It helps a lot. Now, if you get those little seeds in the middle, like if you get like, you know, pieces with little seeds in them, it's okay. You know, no need to panic. Just try to minimize that. And then you're just gonna do a medium dice on those or small dice, if you like small dice. I like kind of in between, so yeah. Um, here I'm doing a dice on one regular tomato and two pretty small romas. All right, now we're gonna do a small dice on a red onion, a quarter of a red onion, not not the whole thing. Oh wow, look at them. Bad knife skills, holy crap, that was trash. But anyways, yeah, this is one of those dishes where like you can just kind of, you know, show off those knife skills. Now for your cilantro, you're gonna roll it up as tightly as you can, and you're just gonna give it a nice, fine chop. Now notice, no, look, at, look at them knife skills, man. Oh my gosh, it's like I went to culinary school or something. It's crazy. Jeez, like a professional. Wow. All right, now you notice there's not like green stuff on the board. That's how you know you have a nice sharp knife. I mean, there's a little green on mine, but it's cause the board was wet. Once you got all your veggies and something to mix in, mixing apparatus, add the juice 
and zest of one lime and then uh yeah man your pico's done salt pepper to taste and you in here you gucci you know what i'm saying you 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 ready for all the taco goodness you know get that get that thing a little mix maybe give it a little taste you, you know oh my gosh I, this pico's good guys trust me all right now to add on to the extraness of these tacos we're gonna be making our own pickled red onion so you're gonna slice them relatively thin and you're gonna boil them it's a bit of a different method than how we did in the pickling video because you want to get that oniony flavor out you want it just be a nice acidic punch and then you know it'll, it'll be good so we're gonna do um while that's boiling we're gonna do equal parts vinegar and water so here i have a quarter of a cup of red wine vinegar and then we're gonna do a quarter of a cup of rice wine vinegar that's probably not how much I use, but that's that's how much you want to do, because then it would equal half a cup of vinegar, and then boom, you'd be adding half a cup of water. So, yeah, I'm not sure why my measurements were off with that. It's probably why I didn't have enough of the stuff, honestly. All right, well, anyways, once that's done, you're going to boil that mixture and add a half of a cup of sugar, so that way you have equal parts water, vinegar, sugar. It's... It, it, it's crazy how science works these days i don't know what i'm looking for but anyways add your sugar give that a nice mix bring that to a boil and as soon as it gets to a boil it's pretty much it you're, you're good you know just add that to your uh to your pickles not your pickles your red onions and you're gonna loosely cover it set that into an ice bath and just let that sit and pickle while you cook your meats because guess what your meats are ready First up is our chicken. It's gonna get that in a nice, you know, saute pan, saute some things up, get, get some nice browning on it. You know, you wanna get some color on it. So, you know, just do do the thing. It's it's, it's chicken. You, you guys know how to, you know, fry up some chicken. Now for the ground beef, what you're gonna do, is you're gonna brown your ground beef, all right? Once it's starting to get brown, you know, and you get some fond on the bottom of the pot, you're gonna take your seasoning, add your seasoning in, and then, you're gonna add in a quarter of a cup of water and you're just gonna let that simmer until most of that water evaporates and it starts to thicken. All right, now to continue with the potatoes, you're just gonna rinse off those potatoes after they've sat until the water basically runs clear. And then you're gonna wring them out in a kitchen towel, get them as dry as you can, cause the drier, the crispier. It's like, it's just a rule, all right? It's, it's just a rule. Get your potatoes going in a hot skillet you just kind of want to let these things go. I mean, I seasoned them, but you know, you don't have to. And you're gonna add some butter, let that melt kind of permeate through those potatoes. It's gonna give you nice crispy potatoes. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. Also, don't don't forget that the, the handle's hot, guys. You use like a, a glove or something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, you're gonna let those go. And then once they're ready, we're gonna try and give it a nice little flip, okay? So let's let's see how this flip goes. Yeah, I still got it. And look at that. By the time your potatoes are done, so is your ground beef. And now it's just time to assemble. Now, there's no secret formula to like how to assemble a taco. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna like give you guys instructions on how to assemble a taco because it's really what you want, all right? That's, that's what food's about. It's art, it's your art. It's what you want to eat but I mean if you guys really want me to go over I mean I, I guess we can do like an actual taco video one of these days but for this one just want to get like a quick video out show you guys some taco recipes and that's really it um yeah I don't know I kind of enjoyed this video this was this was nice it, it wasn't like too bad or anything I was like super stressed out I mean I'm never like super stressed out but I just kind of felt myself enjoying making all these different types of tacos. So yeah, yeah, that's that's really all I got. Now I will say though, the carne taco is kind of a cheat because really it's just leftover pulled pork. I mean, I know that's not real carnitas. Trust me, I know that's not real carnitas. But if you have leftover pulled pork, this is one of those situations where you're gonna be glad you didn't drench it in barbecue sauce. Cause now you can use it in tacos or on top of nachos. It's it's about using what you have, which is kind of the point of this whole video. I, I had some stuff that I knew I wasn't gonna use and you know, I mean, I had to go buy like a tomato, but I had the peppers and stuff. Like it was all already there. So uh, yeah, that's, 
that's pretty much it for this video, man. That's that's a taco. All right, and that's how you do tacos four ways. If you want a fifth way, just add egg to the potato taco and you have a breakfast taco. You can eat it in the morning. There you go, boom. Breakfast idea for Wednesday. Got you guys. I mean, someone's probably gonna yell at me and be like, you can't use pulled pork as carnitas. It's not the same thing. I know that. I'm just saying, it's kind of like, it's like a cheat code, you know? You get the cheat code and you're like, boom. It doesn't taste the same, honestly. I've had real carnitas, it's not, it's not the same. But yeah, guys, so that's your second video for this week. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.